Hard Fight Vanguard movie, Neon Messiah, is the epic conclusion of the OG Vanguard era. While the Legion anime ties up all the loose ends of the story to date, this movie serves as a way to send off our beloved cast and introduce a product to include the units that they introduced but didn't have a chance to print yet. So, here we go! As always, I will only be covering one representative legion per clan per set to keep things simple. I choose the ones I feel will have the most impact and is best to showcase the new support. Be sure to check out the entire card list from the wiki, link in the description down below. Alright, without further ado, let's stand up. Starting off with Malefic Deleter, the 18th trial deck and first movie trial deck released in the Japanese format. It includes further support for the Link Joker clan introducing the keyword Delete. Now, this deck doesn't actually have a Legion unit as the Vanguard, instead we're going back to basics with Daunting Deleter Oxys. This card has a hefty cost but can delete your opponent's Vanguard rendering them helpless. In play, this skill was definitely way too expensive and in zero, the heightened Defensive mechanic of intercepts make this seem quite underwhelming, but it definitely is a very cool looking unit. Of course, the main set of this part would be Movie Booster 1, Neon Messiah. It includes 50 cards further supporting Royal Paladin, Gold Paladin, Kagero, and Link Joker. For Royal Paladins, we're getting Light Sword Seeker, Alfred Exceive, and Blaster Blade Seeker. We're going back to Roots, Caramelized for any ally, furthering strength by harnessing power and critical as you amass your friends. Honestly, this Legion isn't that spectacular and most decks still revolved around the powerhouse that is Thingsaber Dragon, but this is a nice option. Crits are always nice in Zero, since guarding is limited and you can't really go wrong with Alfred and Blaster Blade. Secretate! For Gold Paladin, we have Bluish Flame Liberator, Prominence Glare, and Regulation Liberator Aglo Veil. Easily accessible crit and guard restricts is definitely an upgrade from Prominence Core. Aglo Veil 2.0 has upgraded to and followed Miranda Senpai's footsteps. It's now an 11k beater that pluses on hit. They do what bluish flames do best, filter and sack, and that's all we're looking for. Far from the eldest overlord in the line, Perdition Emperor Dragon Draconic Overlord the Great is here, 
with its friend Perdition Dragon Draconic Neo Flame. This Legion restands, retire, and retires again. The attack rearguard cost of the Great is much less restrictive in Zero, since you pretty much need to hit through intercepts first anyways, and so no one can really escape the Perdition Flames that Overlord is bringing to the game. Secret And lastly, Link Joker. Of course, Link Joker has got to hog the spotlight one more time because they have two archetypes to support. We have Starvader and Deleter. So let's start off with Starvader. Starvader, Blaster Joker, and Companion Star Starvader Photon. This duo locks all the units. So you don't really need to think about it anymore. In addition, this unit is also a Legion killer, retiring your opponent's Legion mates, which is quite fitting since the whole season was about Bonds and Link Joker being the villain, blah, blah, blah. And oh yeah, by the way, this unit also has access to Execrates too. Overall, this unit is a bit overcosted, and the lock everything is a bit overkill since you really only need to triangle lock, but it's just so fitting for the whole theme about Legion and mates. And and lastly, juxtapose deleter Zyle and juxtapose deleter Guile. The former deletes and the latter locks. Honestly, it's quite vanilla, but much more appropriately costed than Oxys. It does lose out on the rewrite restriction, but that is a mute point since Stride is coming soon anyways. <laughs> For those who are interested in building some of these decks, while the leader is a new archetype that doesn't really rely on old stuff, all the other decks will. Royal Paladins wants existing secret stuff, Golds want existing Liberator stuff, Kagura wants existing Perdition and Overlord stuff, and Lake Joker wants existing Starvator stuff. As such, make sure to use this hindsight to backtrack and invest in the previous parts as well as the appropriate existing banners to fill in the gaps. And yeah, this is officially the end of OG Vanguard. Of course, existing archetypes will still get support from time to time, and we still saw Legion in early G, for example, Overlord the Cross, a Legion, was meta in GPT-01, but maybe that's a story for a new generation. A lot of fun producing this series, and I hope that we meet again as we tread smoothly into G. Be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more, and be sure to like the video if you liked it. And until next time.